Hello, today we will discuss the synthesis of semitidine. So specifically semitidine is H2 antagonist. So now the precursors or we can say the reactants for semitidine, it is basically synthesized from imidazole carboxylic ester because the main pharmacophore or heterocycle present in the semitidine is what? It is imidazole. So we need imidazole carboxylic ester. Now this ester undergo reduction to give the carbinol. So here ester group is present, C double bond OO, ester in the sense, the structure looks like this. Now this ester undergoes reduction to give us alcohol. That's why the name is carbinol, that is alcohol. And that reduction may be uh, done in presence of lithium aluminum hydride, Li, LH4. Right. So specifically, there is a first reduction of ester to alcohol by the reduction in presence of lithium aluminum hydride. Now, once this carbinol has been synthesized, there that react with this moiety. So here, what happened in the strongly acidic medium? This amino group undergoes protonated, so that NH two will become NH two that will get protonated. So that's why the maximum nucleophilicity will transfer or shift towards the sulfur moiety or the thiol group. So when there is a reaction between this carbinol and this reagent, so we are getting this structure. Now just try to correlate. This sulfur, as it is nucleophilic, more nucleophilic, so that will attack over here on this carbon. And this hydroxy group along with this hydrogen that will get eliminated as a water moiety. Now what happened? That CH2 will remain as it is and there is a new sigma bond between this sulfur because this thiol or this sulfur moiety is going to attack due to its nucleophilicity. So CH2, this moiety will be same from carbinol. Now this S is coming from this second reactant S, then CH2, CH2 and this is our NH2. So in that way we are getting this third structure. So imidazole carboxylic ester reduced to carbinol. Carbinol is treated with this moiety and we are getting this third structure. Now this third structure is reacted with a complex nitrile. So this is the structure of complex nitrile because it consists of CN, cyanide, right? So whenever we are using cyano groups um, as a substituent, so in IUPAC, as per IUPAC rule, we can call it as a nitrile. So that is a complex nitrile. The name of that moiety is 1-cyno-2,3-dimethyl isothiourea. Isothiourea. So, so if you remember or if you correlate this portion, okay, urea is having this type of structure, NH2, C double bond O, NH2. So when this oxygen is replaced by sulfur, so that becomes thiourea. So whatever encircled portion here, NH, NH will be same, carbon will be same, but instead of oxygen here, sulfur is present. So that's why it is called as thiourea. And the substituents are methyl and cyano. So that's why it is called as 1-cyno-2,3-dimethyl thiourea. So when this third structure is going to uh, react with this complex nitrile or this thiourea moiety that goes under addition and elimination reaction. So addition and elimination reaction in the sense now NH2 is there and here NH is there. So we can say this part is coming from our structure 3, this structure. Now what remains this part? So this part is coming from our this moiety that is C N C N. So this C NCN will be same, NHCH3, NHCH3 will be same. So this moiety is coming from this thiourea moiety. So there is what, what is happening there that NH2 is going to attack here on this, sorry, on this carbon. This NH2 is going to attack on this carbon and this, that means there is an addition and there is an elimination of SCH3. So it follows the sequence of addition and elimination sequence and ultimately we are getting semitidine. So basically semitidine is synthesized from ester and imidazole ester rather because main pharmacophore or the heterocycle present is imidazole. So ester undergo reduction that could be uh, lithium aluminum hydride which will produces alcohol so can we can call it as carbinol 
This carbonyl is treated with this reagent, so that we are getting the structure three. Then this structure three treated with the complex nitrile, or we can call it as a one cyano two three dimethyl isothiourea. And there is a addition and elimination sequence. So ultimately, we are getting our final product that is cimetidine. So this is reduction, right? Then reduction after that we are getting intermediate. So this third structure we can call it as a intermediate, and this moiety is called as a two mercapto ethyl amine. This one is two mercapto ethyl amine. So if this is one, this is two. So the name of this moiety is two mercapto ethyl amine. So this mercapto ethyl amine treated with this intermediate means that is our third structure. Followed by the reaction with this thiourea moiety, which undergoes addition elimination sequence, and ultimately we are getting cimetidine as a final product. 